Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just can't hide it. What is up, lads? It's Tom LFC Heaven back in the house. This time with a dual commentary with my very good friend Michael, and he is one of my favorite YouTubers. But first, let me introduce this episode. This is one of the best episodes this season with FA Cup and Champions League semi finals against Tottenham and Man United at Wembley and at Anfield and then the last game is an absolutely insane game against Fulham which absolutely blew my mind and we have injuries and red cards and penalties and everything action-packed episodes so let me introduce my good friend Michael who has a brilliant YouTube channel he has just reached 200 subscribers so he's a quite small in the community but he deserves way more he does uh, squad builder episodes and brilliant ultimate team player reviews and also he does one of my favorite series at the moment on YouTube a Mönchen Gladbach career mode because he's a Gladbach fan hello Michael how are you today hi Tom I'm fine thanks what about you I'm great I'm doing great and I was looking forward to this dual commentary because I remember at the end of FIFA 12 we did a dual commentary on my Liverpool career mode and the viewers absolutely loved it and uh, some of them subscribed to you and they didn't uh, look back since then because you you are doing some of the best series on YouTube I think and uh, I, I ask you guys uh, that go to Michael's channel and subscribe to him and also uh, spam comment on one of his videos that I sent <laughs> you because that would make me so happy and he deserves it just check out his videos his intro for the Gladbach career mode is absolutely insane almost as good as my intro <laughs> 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 on this episode but okay Michael so um, tell us uh, about your series and what you are doing on you on your YouTube channel well basically it's just the same thing that you are doing I'm doing a career mode with Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Bundesliga and I yeah just try to build up a nice team with some nice young players that I can play some seasons with and yeah just try to basically lead my club to victory also of course I'm doing some ultimate team videos player reviews uh, ultimate team series but in the moment I'm uh, yeah just doing the Gladbach career modes but soon there will be more ultimate videos coming soon yeah but you are you are an uh, expert on the München Gladbach because you have been a fan for uh, on them for how, how long exactly mm, I think it was since 2002 or That's three, brilliant. I guess. That's brilliant. Yeah, I think it should be around 10 years now. Oh, and and uh, we won against uh, Tottenham in the FA Cup semi-final. So we threw, we are through into the FA Cup final and we will play against Chelsea, who are our title rivals. And then look at this. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Manchester United at Anfield in a Champions League semi-final. This game is absolutely huge. So uh, enjoy the episode and Michael I want to uh, I want to ask you how did you come across your my channel and how did we meet tell us your story because I love hearing that and I think my subscribers are also interested well I think it was back at times of FIFA 11 where I just started to getting into YouTube and ultimate team especially and somehow I came across Phil Potter's channel and um, by the time he was playing in a pro club with you, I guess. Yes. And um, he, some somehow he he was like uploading a video linking to some of your uh, pro club montages of FIFA 11, and I checked you out. And then I saw your I think it was the Real Betis or Swansea carry mode. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I think it was Real Betis. Mm, very nice. And, um, after that, I just subscribed to you because it was so nice. And I thought, why not subscribe that guy? <laughs> Thank you. By the way, did you see that horrible injury that Agger suffered? He broke his ankle, guys. Can you believe that? He's out for three months. I'm absolutely devastated. And But look at that skilled goal by Suarez. He absolutely annihilated the defender there. And then look at this. I have never seen an injury like that. Did you see it? Did you see that? Wow. Especially in the 29th minute. <laughs> That's usually what happens like five minutes. Yeah, but of wow. Game left. And Gerard tore his hamstring. Like, absolutely tore it apart. He is out for three months as well. So, basically, two of our key players, Agger and Gerard, are out for the whole season. 
because once they are recovered the season will end and it will be the summer holidays so basically they can go on the beach now <laughs> and the rest of the <laughs> squad will have to fight uh, for the cups and the league <laughs> And then I scored an offside goal with Aubameyang, but then Borini, I don't know how he headed it, headed that in. Maybe it was a goalkeeper mistake. Do, don't you think the goalkeeper should have saved that? Mm, probably, yeah. But, you know, it's FIFA and you got to take what there yeah, is for exactly. you. Yeah, exactly. And that was like one of the most eventful first halves. <laughs> two injuries <laughs> and an offside goal. I hit the post as well and then I scored two goals as well. So, wow, what a game. <laughs> And yeah, United tried to come back in the second half, but my defense was really, really playing well, blocking all the shots. And I, it was really, look at the, yeah, look at the Man United goalkeeper trying to uh, salvage something here. And he, he tried to get the shot off, but he failed. Uh, they couldn't counter attack because they, they got the ball from me. But yes, we have won uh, the Champions League semi final. This is the only the first leg, but it's a brilliant win because we c didn't concede. So uh, that was uh, one of our main objectives. So a 2 0 win is absolutely brilliant. And the last game in this episode will be against Fulham. And th this is just to confirm Agger broken ankle, Gerard torn hamstring, both out for three months. Absolute disaster. I hope uh, this won't uh, hinder my chances of winning the Cups and the league. But wow, it's not looking good. But we, we, got a, we got the good news, Jujak is back from his injury, so I put him straight back into the lineup. And uh, I want you, guy, you, Michael, to commentate this Fulham episode, because I think it would be interesting <laughs> what you, what you <laughs> thought, or thought about this game, because this is one of the most insane games I have ever played on this season's career mode. <laughs> Yeah, especially in, in that time of the season, yeah. where it's about to get tense in the title yeah, race. I was shaking during this game, so nervous. Yeah. I can't believe that. But, um, yeah, it, it looks like Fulham was attacking since the first minute, and um, also scoring in the ninth <laughs> minute, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, Agger, Agger missing showed in this, in yeah. this defending. Agger was, was missing, uh, missing there, clearly. So... I thought Reyna had no chance. Oh, Tom, not 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 the best yeah, defender. <laughs> <laughs> but then, oh. Skirtel, why did he? Why didn't he clear the ball? He like had it uh, under the ball or something. Wow. Save it. No, Tom. Save it. <laughs> I couldn't. I Doesn't tried. I guessed it right at first. I went to the right side, but then he he like did the stutter penalty. And that confused me, so maybe I thought he will change his mind, but didn't. And then Jujak with an epic that shot, but the goalkeeper saved there. That doesn't look too good so far, Tom. But then oh, but change, change in the game, two one. What a header! There, there can be uh, maybe the the draw. Who knows? Yeah, I was I was so up for the second half. I. I had to come back, I just had to, I couldn't afford to lose this game. I mean, Chelsea would be six points clear with a much better goal difference. And then look at the, what is up with this referee? I mean, I think that wasn't a free kick. And then, wow. <laughs> oh, I was, I was so nervous at this time. I mean, wow. They almost scored the third goal with that free kick. Yeah, that's, that wouldn't have been too So what do you think about Borini in this uh, season? Borini is just great. It, it's the biggest surprise to me, and it was so good to put him up on CAM position. Yeah, it was I just the, such for yeah. uh, the position of Borini a bit, uh, put Gerard back. But then, stupid mistake by me losing the ball there with Asaidi, and then just look at this. Uh oh, I can sense a goal, Tom. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> even better than a goal. That's that's a red card as well, isn't it? Oh yes, you guessed it right. Lucas is off and it's a penalty <laughs> in the 93rd minute. Fulham have uh -oh. a chance to win the game and I'm absolutely devastated here. So nervous. And then... <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was like... Wow. I, I, I regret it a bit that I didn't do a live commentary. This game would have been <laughs> insane with the live commentary, Michael. You can, you can guess it. Yeah. I, I would have gone absolutely mental at that goal and that and that <laughs> penalty save. And Fulham had nine shots. I had only three, so they they played me off the park. So I think I'm not 
I don't have to be too disappointed with the draw, but then the bad news, Chelsea won away at West Brom 3-2. Look at, the, look at their goal difference. 76 goals scored, 22 conceded, plus 54. Yeah, that's, that's just absolutely insane, meant. and they are still unbeaten. Blackpool's goal difference also yeah. not too bad, <laughs> minus 44. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Aubameyang is our top scorer. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like the video, the more likes I get, the more episodes I will upload this week of the Liverpool Carrier Mode Show. And make sure to subscribe to my awesome friend Mtrix94, Michael, his channel's link is in the description. And see you later guys, bye! Bye bye! bye, -bye.